Hey, this is John from Theme House. Today I want to just show you some of the new features in Question and Answer Forums version 1.1. Um, so the first thing is we've changed some of the options for um, marking a forum so that you can have questions in it. If you go into Nodes now and pick one of your forums, um, you'll notice that there's now just one new option which is Add question status to threads by default. This is instead of the force option that was there before. So this will mean that unless someone has a specific permission, they can't remove the question status. So in other words, all threads will be automatically question status. However, in order for this to work, they will also have to have one of the new permissions, which is to be able to create a question thread. And if they don't have that permission, then they will actually be able to create normal threads if they have the ability to do that. So I'll tick that box there. I'll then go into groups and permissions, go into node permissions, and go into the same forum, and go into the registered user group. And here I can define these permissions that I've just talked about. So add question status to own thread. Yes, I won't tick this one, remove question status from own thread. I'm gonna mark the best answer, and I'm gonna view vote details, vote for answer, and vote for answer in own thread. So then I'm going to click save. So now if I go back in here and question and answer forum, it shows me the ask a question button. I click on the ask a question button and I can create a question. So test, test, post the thread. And if I do a quick reply, you can see it's a question thread because it's got the, the ability to mark as a best answer and to upvote and to downvote. We go back in here as well and you can see that it's got the question mark here which shows that it's a question thread. You'll notice here I've got some prefixes, question, question and answered. If I go back into the admin options, this is a feature from before, uh, question and answer forms. We can set a question prefix, so I'll do that to question here, and an answered prefix. You'll notice we've also got this other new option here which is mark as best answer if total points reaches. I'm going to put this as one for now to keep it nice and simple for the demo. There's also an answer here, don't change best answer automatically if thread is older than, which relates to the above um, option there. This means that this will only apply if it's been 28 days or less since the thread's been created, or I can set that to a different value. I'm just going to turn that off for now. And we've got the markers best answer if total points reaches one point. So automatically, as soon as uh, an answer is upvoted and it's given one point, it will become the best answer automatically. So let's click Save and let's see that in action. I'm going to pick this thread here. You can see I've got some answers, but at the moment this isn't a question thread, even though it's got the question prefix. You'll see some more about that later. So if I click Edit Thread, I can now tick the question box here because I've got the permission to add the question type to my threads. There we go, it's now a question thread. And if I give this one upvote, ta-da, immediately it's the best answer. Now what you'll notice is if I give this one, this post from Thursday, if I upvote this to one, this doesn't become the best answer because there's already a best answer and it's got the same number of votes. If this was to go up to two, then this would automatically become the best answer. And you can see that if I set this one as the best answer now and then remove my vote from here and add it back again, the best answer's changed now to this one here. You also see the thread prefix has now changed to answer. This is a feature from before. But I wanted to show you how we've now improved it slightly with that as well. If I go back in here and remove the checkbox that I checked on the thread, Now when I create a new thread, the question box appears here. So I have an option whether to make it a question or not. If I go here and click the question prefix, that box is ticked automatically for me. That's a new feature because if someone picks the question prefix, we can safely assume that they probably want it to be a question thread. If I remove the prefix, that's unticked as again. If I tick there, it won't automatically add the prefix here but if I click post thread, then it will add it as soon as the, 
the thread is posted.